In this video, I'm gonna be demoing exactly how to warm up your inbox for e-commerce businesses and also if you're doing things like outbound prospecting with your agency. Now, it's super, super important and absolutely necessary. The reason this is, is because you don't have a sender's reputation yet, so you really wanna be building this up as to not trigger the spam filter because nobody wants an unopened email. Now, I'm gonna jump into a screen share and I'll show you exactly how this is done. So, when it comes to warming up your inbox, uh, personally, I always go through G Suite. So before we get into it, there's just some housekeeping that you need to make sure is set up. Ensure that your DMARC, DKIM, and SPF verifications are all done. Uh, you don't need to have this done to follow the steps I'm about to show you in this video, but just do this after. There's already many like YouTube tutorials on it, so I haven't bothered making one or including it in this video. However, if you do actually want me to cover this in a separate video because it is quite time consuming, drop it in a comment below because to be honest, a few of the YouTube tutorials I've watched they're kind of like confusing so if you want me to do it leave them as a comment now once this is done there are two main things you are trying to do when it comes to actually warming up your inbox and that is you need to ensure that there's both a healthy inflow and outflow of emails to the inbox so the first step is to sign up to 10 different daily newsletters. So how we're gonna do this is, I'm gonna link down below 10 different daily newsletters that I generally use to warm up my inbox. One of them being Morning Brew, so I would just type in bzbroke gmail.com and you're gonna get a confirmation email through shortly. And what you're gonna do is, you're just gonna uh, do a filter real quick, Morning Brew, and you're gonna filter all of these emails so they don't actually show up in your inbox. The reason why you want to do this is because you just want to be able to keep your inbox as tidy as possible. So you want to hit skip the inbox, archive it, mark as read and uh, always mark it as important and never send it to spam. The reason why you want to hit this is just like kind of good karma because you know, you don't want to send someone's mailing list that you're just using to warm up your inbox to spam. So never send it to spam, always mark it as important to help someone else's deliverability as well. So you want to hit create filter. So once you do this 10 times with the newsletters down below, then you want to go to a website called Warm Up Inbox. They're a piece of software that allows you to actually automatically warm up your inbox. It's kind of like Lemwarm, except it's much more cost effective. I'm just going to log in real quick uh, as I already have an account with them. So I'm just going to hit sign in. And as you can see, I've used it to warm up uh, it, my inbox in the past. So this is my appointment setters inbox and this is my personal one um, that I use to send emails with. So what you want to do is you just want to add email, Google workspace provider, type your email, type your password and all of this and just follow the tutorial on this site. It's super, super easy to do takes around, I'd say 10 minutes to kind of set up because there's some of the back end things you need to do with your domain, but they have tutorials and uh, instructions on how to do that within their own systems. So in terms of a starting baseline, generally speaking, if your inbox is completely new, I would recommend starting with anywhere from kind of like two to five, uh, two to five, not 25, by the way. So starting with two to five, but you know, if your inbox has been around for let's say uh, a few months already, or you've been actually using it for years as an e-commerce brand, then I recommend just starting off with anywhere from like 15 to 20, right? 15 to 20, let's start with 15 in this uh, demo. And then you wanna hit increase per day. So now if you're just getting into uh, email marketing, then I highly recommend just increasing it by increments of no more than kind of like three. Whereas if you're doing cold email, then I really recommend you start ramping up between one to two a day. In terms of max sends per day, generally speaking, if you're in, uh, if you're doing outbound prospecting, I recommend anywhere from kind of like 15 to 25. But if you're an e-commerce business, then I really recommend you go 30 or above. The max on here is 50, but I recommend sticking kind of 30 to 40 range. The reason why that is, is because if you're an e-commerce brand, you're gonna be sending emails at a slightly higher volume. So you wanna ramp up to a slightly higher amount as well. When it comes to the reply rate, it suggests 30%. I would recommend you go anywhere from kind of 25 to 35% all works just fine. Uh, typically when I do it, I keep it around 30%. This applies to both if you're an e-commerce business or if you're doing cold outbound prospecting. So you just wanna hit save, make sure you fill out the rest of your details and uh, do all of the steps it tells you to do within the software itself. Once that is done, just leave it there for a minimum of two weeks before you actually send any real emails. The reason this is, is because you don't wanna risk getting marked as spam. And also you wanna have like a steady ramp up process in the sense that 
if you begin on somewhere, let's say like uh, three or something, then you want to have like a show, you want to show the email provider like a steady increase as opposed to just suddenly like jumping to 20 a day or, you know, if you're an e-commerce brand blasting 5,000 emails out there a day, that's going to land you in the promotions or spam folder please, please, please don't do it. So once you're all set up with that, again, go to uh, your email inbox and then you wanna create a filter for warm up inbox, uh, warm up inbox. This is the kind of like abbreviation they have in all of their subject lines. If you wanna make it extra strict, I recommend doing this. Uh, this is the, I guess, post fix that they add to the end of all of their subject lines. So you wanna hit create filter again and uh, then you wanna go to Never send it to spam, skip it, mark as red, and always mark it as important. Create the filter and you're all good to go. So once you're all done with this, you need to actually routinely check in on your deliverability to make sure that your health, the health of your email and your domain is actually at a 10 out of 10. If this falls below nine, you seriously need to see what's happening and maybe uh, do a Glock test. So using a site called Glock Apps. I can make a deliverability video uh, on this in more depth and how to actually analyze it and in case that you actually get into spam, what to do about that. If you want that again, drop it in the comment section below and I'll make sure to add it into a future video for you guys. So I hope you found this video useful. As I said, you know, if you're doing outbound prospecting or if you're an e-commerce brand, this is an absolute, absolute, absolute must. Like don't skip this, right? Thank you so much for watching.